Here we are in downstairs of the Fenimore Art Museum. We're going to go upstairs to the Cooper Room. It has a lot of collection of Cooper materials and uh, statues, paintings, and different artifacts relating to James Fenimore Cooper and his family. But look at down here. It's a beautiful place down here with the art all over the place. Right, the Cooper Gallery is. I love this in the center here has a map of Glimmerglass Lake. Cooper's Glimmerglass. All the way up from the north of Sunken Island down to the south at Christ Church and the Leather Stocking Monument and Lakewood Cemetery and seen from James Hunter Cooper is the prairie. There's a painting of Cooper back in 1842. It's a famous picture of him that you see around the grounds here. This is the most striking portrait of Cooper. Then the, this was his, uh, his sister's favorite image, or his wife's favorite image of her husband, sorry. This might look familiar here. This chair is a set of armchairs. A pair of armchairs, part of a set of bamboo furniture that stood in the large first hallway of at Siegel Hall in the 1830s and 40s. At Siegel Hall is where the full-size version of this monument is in Cooper Park. That chair sat in there for many years till Lot Siegel Hall burned down. Like I say, this monument is there now. Here's the last of the Mohicans painting. Variable items there, and then your James Fenimore Cooper bust made of marble. And I love this one, the Mohican. Chingachgook, one of the characters in Fenimore Cooper's Leather Stocking Tales. There's a map that George Cooper had made, William Cooper, sorry, Judge William Cooper. And there's Judge William Cooper, who Cooper's town was named after, the father of James Fenimore. James Fenimore Cooper, by the way, his name wasn't really given as James Fenimore Cooper. He took his mother's maiden name Fenimore as his middle name. So here's a meeting place by the water, the Cooper vision and inspiration of Otsego, in Otsego County. And there's a picture of his sister, Susan, who was an art or, or author in her own right. Wrote a most famous book, Rural Hours, about uh, season to nature and life in pastoral New York State, specifically it's Cooperstown. Here is a picture of Otsego Hall. Not a picture, there's no photographs of it that we know of. There's an artist's rendering of it. Again, this in the middle here is really neat. I'm going to get some pictures of this. Beautiful crystal chandelier up here. I'm going to go over here and see James Fenimore Cooper. And what famous town are we in? James Fenimore Cooper in Cooperstown.